That camera's rolling. That camera's rolling. Let's fucking go. Harley Benton and Ibanez. Two brands that you've probably heard of. With Ibanez being the bigger brother of the two and being the one that's been on top for such a long time, producing high quality guitars throughout most of their career. They've had a few flops, but every guitar brand has a few flops. The thing is Harley Benton is catching up pretty quickly and not in the way that you'd expect because Harley Benton is not as expensive as Ibanez, but is getting pretty close when it comes to quality. Quality. Now, I'm not gonna say that Harley Benton is a boutique brand, you know, they're not boutique guitars, they're not super high-end guitars, but for the price that you pay for a Harley Benton guitar, there's not a single other brand that offers that same quality for that price range. In this video, we're gonna check out the Harley Benton Multiscale 8 QBB and an Ibanez RG8 Multiscale just to see how they compare to each other because the Harley Benton is currently $399 and at the time of buying, when I bought the Ibanez, the Ibanez was set at a little under a thousand dollars. Huge price difference. How are they gonna sound different from each other? Where are the little differences gonna be? Are they gonna sound exactly the same? Is Harley Benton gonna do better? Before we dive into it, I do quickly wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Gothic, longtime sponsor of the channel. Gothic jewelry, you know, where I get all this fancy shit around my neck, my fingers, my ears, and all of that good stuff. And today, and only today, they're doing a Cyber Monday sale following up on Black Friday, doing huge discounts. Make sure to check it out. I earn a little bit of affiliate money from that as well, so it really helps fuel my guitar addiction and keeps the channel afloat. I know you still gotta get a gift for your mom for Christmas. Get her a necklace, get her some nice jewelry. Go check out the link in the description on the pinned comment, support the channel, support Gothic. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Let's start off with the Ibanez RG8. So this is the Ibanez RG8. I think the full name is on the back here. It's the RGIM8MH which basically stands for RG8 Multiscale. I don't know if that's actually what it means. It's just, it's an RG8 Multiscale by Ibanez. It comes with EMG X pickups. These are active pickups. That's the only difference between this and the Harley Benton. The Harley Benton has passive pickups. So you might notice a little bit of difference in attack. We're gonna see how they hold up anyway, because if I can get a good tone out of a $400 eight string, I don't need to spend a thousand dollars on an Ibanez eight string. And that's what we're gonna look into today. This is a raw tone test, no mix, no post-production, straight into the plugin, Archetype Gojira with one of my presets. Those presets are available for download for free, by the way, on my website. That link's also in the description. All right, let's see how this bad boy sounds. Before we continue, I do quickly want to mention that there's going to be no cleans, no leads, no fancy shredding in this video. If you want to see a detailed view on all of those things on the Harley Benton, I put the video up in the corner. I think it's over there. Yeah, over there. So you can watch that after you watch this video. You're going to complete this video first. Okay. So yeah, this one sounds pretty beefy. This one has always served me well. This has been my main eight string for the past, I I'd say six years almost. So yeah, really happy with this one. There's one more riff that we got to do because obviously you can't test an eight string without playing a doom riff. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds pretty fucking dope. Let's switch it out for the Harley Bend and see what the difference is. The thing that I think I'm gonna notice the most is the difference in attack. I think the Harley Bend is gonna have a little bit less of a bite to the tone. But again, 
that's due to the pickups EMG actives versus Harley Benton passives. I'm sorry, all my guitars have active pickups. This Harley Benton is the first one with passive pickups. Harley Benton. If you're watching this, send me a guitar, please. <laughs> one thing that I do want to mention, and honestly, like for the price range that this guitar is in, it is built so well. It looks amazing. It feels amazing. This is straight out of the box, by the way. Like the action, I haven't changed anything. This is straight out of the box and it sounds good. It feels good. It plays well. It looks good. There's like no little details, no little errors whatsoever. Like look at the back of this dog. Look how beautiful. Look how fucking beautiful it is. Can you see it in that camera? Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely love it. Let's see if, uh, if this bad boy jones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, I know there's a difference in tone, but for 400 bucks, bro, this shit is, oh, <laughs> just listen to that, 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 mmm, that, that, that tone. Now obviously it might just be the preset that I dialed that just sounds this good, but god damn, this shit sounds good. Okay, comparison, Doom Riff. I'm just saying, bro, that sounds pretty fucking awesome. If I have to make a comparison between the two, why is there so much dust on this? What the fuck? You literally just came out of the case. If I have to compare these two, I gotta be honest. I love my Ibanez. I love how it plays, but it took me almost a year to get it to the stage that it's in right now, to get it to the playability that it is right now, to like my personal flavor of playability, because I have a very specific taste when I set up my guitars. Like I always take like two to three months to set up a new guitar. But this one, this Harley Benton feels really good. This Harley Benton feels really good. And this is straight out of the box. I haven't changed anything on this and it plays really well. Is it a better tone? I think that's personal preference. To me personally, I love the bite that an active pickup has, which is obviously why all my guitars have active pickups. I like the sound of this passive one. I'm not gonna lie. I really like the sound of this passive pickup. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because I'm a Harley Benton fanboy. Again, Harley Benton, send me a guitar or two. Like, I really need them to make videos. Like, please. Or $400 guitar. I can't believe how good this sounds. It's the same with my fucking EX84. That thing fucking bites. That one has active pickups, Roswell pickups. These are just HBZ custom wound pickups. It just, oh, it sounds so good, bro. <laughs> Listen to that, just that. Ugh. I love my Ibanez, but I think personally, I gotta give this one to Harley Benton. Not saying that they're better, because that's personal preference, obviously. $400 versus $1,000 and this shit sounds this good? There's nothing much more to say. This is just an absolute beast.
of a guitar. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. Check out Gothic through the link in the description and the pinned comment. Get yourself some Cyber Monday sales, get your mother something nice to wear, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!